Collectors know the value and importance of the special edition stamps released to commemorate a person, event or place. Many feature diplomats and consular officials who played their part in rescuing Jews from possible deportation and death during the Holocaust. When Yad Vashem was established in Israel in 1953, one of its tasks was to commemorate the righteous among the nations, defined as non-Jews who risked their lives to save Jews from extermination by the Nazis for altruistic reasons during the Holocaust. Since then, Yad Vashem has recognized over 25,000 persons as righteous. Many are diplomats. For persecuted Jews seeking visas to escape the Nazis, the actions of diplomats could mean the difference between life and death. Some diplomats followed regulations to keep Jews out of their countries, but others defied their governments. This risked their careers and, in some cases, even their lives. This Israeli stamp features the portraits of five diplomats we'll meet later, from Italy, Portugal, Switzerland, Japan and Turkey. As Swiss Vice Consul in Budapest from 1942 to 1945, Karl Lutz devised a Schutzpass, protective pass as a means to rescue Hungarian Jews from deportation. Lutz issued thousands, providing them with Swiss diplomatic immunity. With the approach of the Russians, he ignored orders to leave Budapest to ensure the safety of those holding his protective passes and remained there until its liberation in February 1945. Having negotiated permission to issue 8,000 protective passes, Lutz reinterpreted that number and applied it to families rather than individuals. By this strategy, he was able to save more than 60,000 Jews from deportation. He also established 76 safe houses to place document holders under diplomatic protection. He was the first Swiss citizen to be named Righteous Among the Nations in 1964. Angel Sanz Britz was the first secretary of the Spanish legation in Budapest in 1942. He initially received authorization to provide papers to 200 Jews, but between June and December 1944, enlarged this amount and issued fake Spanish papers to 5,200. He also acquired safe houses in Budapest and convinced the Hungarian authorities that Spain had given citizenship to descendants of Sephardic Jews expelled from Spain in 1492, despite the fact that Hungary's Jewish community was largely Ashkenazi. In 1944, as the Red Army approached Budapest, he followed government orders to leave for Switzerland and was replaced by the Italian Giorgio Perlasca. On October 18, 1966, Yad Vashem recognizes Angel Sans Bris as righteous among the nations. Giorgio Perlasca worked for an Italian importing firm and when he learned that Sans Bris was leaving, he made himself the Spanish charge at affairs and continued to issue protective passes. He changed his name from the Italian Giorgio to the Spanish Jorge. Between November 1944 and January 1945, Perlasca worked with the International Red Cross, with the Vatican and Raoul Wallenberg from Sweden in issuing protective passes. It's estimated that he saved approximately 3,500 Hungarian Jews. Raoul Wallenberg was legation secretary of the Swedish diplomatic mission in Budapest in June 1944, where he quickly established an office and recruited 400 Jewish volunteers to run it. He invented a special Swedish Schutzpass, a colourful, imposing, official-looking document. With permission from no one, he announced that it granted the holder immunity from deportation to the death camps. The Schutzpass alone is credited with saving 20,000 Jewish lives. Wallenberg scoured Budapest for buildings to rent. He eventually found 32 which he declared to be extraterritorial buildings protected by Swedish diplomatic immunity. Wallenberg's safe houses, protected by little more than the Swedish flag, saved thousands of Jewish lives. In the last days of Budapest's occupation, Nazi troops surrounded the Jewish ghetto in preparation for a massacre. When he learned of the plan, Wallenberg confronted the Nazi commander, telling him that if he allowed the attack to go ahead, Wallenberg would see that he was hanged for crimes against humanity after the war. The assault was called off and the lives of 70,000 Jews were saved. Wallenberg disappeared while on a trip to the Soviet Union and was rumoured to have been arrested there. According to documents released in 1991, he died in a Soviet prison on July 17, 1947. In November 1963, Raoul Wallenberg was recognized as righteous among the nations. Colonel José Arturo Castellanos was the Salvadorian Consul General in Geneva, Switzerland from 1942 to 1945. He appointed George Mantello, a Romanian Jewish refugee living in Geneva, 
as the first secretary at the consulate and authorised Mantello to issue thousands of citizen certificates to Jewish refugees throughout Nazi-occupied Europe. These certificates stated that the holder was a recognised citizen of El Salvador who was then protected from deportation. In 1944, Castellanos requested that Switzerland represent El Salvador's interests in Hungary. Castellanos embraced Mantello's efforts and in Budapest, Hungarian Jews were thus able to obtain Salvadoran citizenship. Mantello issued thousands through the office of Swiss Consul Charles Lutz. Jose Castellanos was designated Righteous Among the Nations by Yad Vashem in 2010. Aristide de Souza Mendes was the Portuguese Consul General in Bordeaux. In June 1940, in spite of instructions to the contrary, he issued thousands of visas to Jewish refugees. For his act of defiance, Souza Mendes was severely punished, stripped of his diplomatic position and forbidden from earning a living. He ended up having to sell his possessions to help support his family of 13 children. He died poor and forgotten. Before his death in 1954, Sousa Mendes asked his children to clear his name and have the honour of the family restored. The first recognition came in 1966 from Israel, which declared him righteous among the nations. In 1986, the United States Congress issued a proclamation honouring his heroic act, and in 1987, Portugal officially rehabilitated him. Hiram Harry Bingham IV was an American vice consul during World War II who, along with journalist Varian Fry, helped over 2,500 Jews flee from France as Nazi forces advanced. In 1939, Bingham was posted to Marseille in France, where he had responsibility for issuing entry visas to the USA. Against State Department instructions, he helped many refugees avoid internment and prepare for emigration and freely issued visas and affidavits for stateless persons. In 1941, the United States government abruptly pulled Bingham from his position as vice consul and transferred him to Portugal and then Argentina, where he helped track Nazi war criminals. In early 1946, after being passed over for promotion, he resigned from the United States Foreign Service. In June 2002, US Secretary of State Colin Powell presented a posthumous Constructive Dissent Award to Bingham's children at an awards ceremony in Washington, D.C. Nekded Kent was Turkey's vice consul general in Marseille between 1941 and 1944. He saved the lives of more than 80 Jews who had been loaded into cattle cars to be transported to concentration camps. Kent climbed into the train and refused to leave without them. Luis Martins de Souza Dantas was Brazil's ambassador to France between 1922 and 1943 and against the strict order of his government issued visas to hundreds of Jews after the Nazi takeover in 1940. He would often alter the visa's issue date and remove any mention of Jewish ancestry from the applicant's history. It's estimated that he saved 800 people, 425 confirmed to be Jewish. In March 1942, Nazis broke into Dantes' embassy in Vichy and arrested him. He was deported to Germany and it was incarcerated along with other diplomats. Dantas was eventually freed in 1944 with the direct intervention of the Portuguese Prime Minister. After the war, he returned to Paris, where he died in obscurity on the 14th of April 1954. He was designated Righteous Among the Nations in 2003. Aracida Cavalho is one of Brazil's only two Righteous Among the Nations. Born in Brazil to a German mother, she came to Germany in 1936 and took a job at the Brazilian consulate in Hamburg, where she married Assistant Consul João Gomares Rosa. She knew members of the underground, and as head of the passport section began to issue Brazilian passports to Jews without the Nazi-mandated Red J designating them as Jews. She would circulate the passports to the underground, who would in turn get them to Jews trying to flee. For risking her life and defying her country's president and consul, she became known as the Angel of Hamburg. The couple remained in Germany until 1942, when Brazil broke relations with Germany and joined the Allies. Aracida Cavalho was recognised by Yad Vashem in 1982. She died in 2011, aged 102. Selahattin Ulkumen served as the Consul General of Turkey on the Greek island of Rhodes between 1943 and 1944. In July 1944, the Germans rounded up all of the island's Jews for deportation to concentration camps. Ulkumen went to the German commanding officer to remind him that Turkey was neutral and asked for their release. Ulkerman initially requested that Germans release only the Jewish Turkish citizens and their families, who numbered only 15 at the time. 
but he then added another 25 to 30 people to the list whom he knew had allowed their citizenship to lapse. In the end, all those on Ulkerman's lists were released, but the rest of the Jews on the island, some 1,700, were deported to Auschwitz. On December 12, 1989, Yad Vashem recognized Salahet in Ulkerman as righteous among the nations. Kiyoni Sugiharo was the Japanese consul general in Kaunas, Lithuania in 1940. When the Soviet Union overran the country and instructed all foreign diplomats to shut down their offices, ignoring instructions from his government, Sugihara supplied several thousand Jewish refugees from Poland with Japanese visas. Between July the 31st and August the 28th, 1940, he distributed approximately 300 transit visas a day. Upon learning of Sugihara's insubordination, the Japanese foreign ministry ordered him to stop. At the end of the war, the Sugihara family was interned by the Russians in a Siberian prisoner of war camp for 18 months. Upon returning to Japan, Sugihara was dismissed from the foreign service and earned a living doing odd jobs. Upon asking why he was being forced to resign, Sugihara was told that it was because of that incident in Lithuania. He was recognized as a righteous person in 1984. Sugihara worked closely with Jan Svartendijk, a Dutch businessman and part-time acting consul of the Dutch government in exile. To save Jews, he supervised the writing of 2,345 visas for Curacao. He did not talk about the matter and died in Eindhoven in 1976. In 1997, Yad Vashem recognized him as righteous among the nations. Georg Duckwitz was a member of the Nazi party and in 1943 the trade attaché to the German embassy in Copenhagen. But when he learned that the Nazi occupying government was planning to deport Danish Jews, he alerted the Danish government and Jewish community leaders. As a result, 7,200, that's 99% of Danish Jews, were hidden and smuggled overseas into neutral Sweden, where they survived the war. Duckwitz was designated righteous among the nations in 1971. Folk Bernadotte, Count of Visborg, was a Swedish nobleman and diplomat. During World War II, he negotiated the release of about 31,000 prisoners from German concentration camps, including 450 Jews from the Theresienstadt ghetto. After a series of negotiations, the Danish prisoners were released on the 14th of April 1945 and brought to Sweden by the so-called White Buses, a dangerous journey that took the caravan of White Buses through war-torn Europe to safety in Sweden. <laughs>